What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. So in today's video we're discussing about the iOS 13 which has been released today and also what it means for jailbreaking. As you probably know Apple has seeded today the iOS 13 and also the iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro Max have finally been listed on IPSW.me and you can find the IPSW for them in here. Now there have been rumors that the uh, devices will come with iOS 12.4.1 but as I said on Twitter when you asked me about this they are not coming with iOS 12.4.1 1.1 because they never come with a version behind. The uh, new devices always come with the whatever is in beta at the time and this time was the iOS 13. So as you can see for the iPhone 11 Pro we only have the iOS 13.0 in here available. Now the uh, build number is 17A577 and this one is the final version available so no beta, no nothing. Now for the other devices, for example the iPhone XR, XS Max and 10 and so on, the iOS 12.4.1 is still signed and is still available if you want to update to it or if you want to downgrade to it from iOS 13. Now please keep in mind that Apple will soon release iOS 13.1 on September 30 and they are very likely going to unsign the iOS 12.4.1 at that point and that's a problem because if you're not there by that time you will not be able to downgrade to it anymore. Now in terms of jailbreaking which one is better if you already updated to any of them? Well if you're running iOS 13 or 13.1 beta you should definitely downgrade right now to iOS 12.4.1 because there is a kernel exploit coming in the next month which will allow us to update the uncovered jailbreak and we will be able to have a jailbreak for the iOS 12.4.1. However for the iOS 13 there is no jailbreak exploit for the moment and there is no exploit coming for the moment as far as I know so if you're running iOS 13.0 or 13.1 beta when 12.4.1 gets unsigned you will have to wait for a jailbreak for much much longer. So if you want to jailbreak in the near future do not stay on iOS 13 or 13.1, downgrade back to iOS 12.4.1 and save your blobs. As I said it will stop being signed very very soon so it's best to go right now on 12.4.1 if you're running iOS 13. And of course if you want to jailbreak, for those of you who are running 12.4 or lower do not update to any any of these in here, do not update to 12.4.1 and the most important thing, do not update to iOS 13. I know it's tempting because it has a lot of features but once you update to iOS 13.0 you will not be able to downgrade back to 12.4, 12.2, 12.1.4 or 12.1.3 and so on. So you will not be able to jailbreak again. If you already did the mistake to update from a jailbroken firmware to iOS 13, go back to 12.4.1 and wait there. This is especially true for the A12 devices. Do not update your A12 device to iOS 13 thinking that the uh, jailbreak for 12.4 will not come. Bound to Own posted yesterday quote, successfully installed some tweaks from the Petadev's repo and verified they work just fine on my A12 device that's running the upcoming version of the uncovered jailbreak with full-fledged A12 support for iOS 12.0 to 12.4. Pre-production tests are going good so far. So the uncovered jailbreak will come very very soon for the A12 devices in a matter of days for iOS 12.4, 12.1.3, 12.1.4 and 12. So do not update iOS 13 thinking that the jailbreak is not going to come because in a few days you will probably regret it. Now as far as features are concerned, if you want I can make a video on what are the features of the iOS 13 and I can do some benchmarks if you want. So yeah, tell me in the comment section down below if you want a full review and a couple of benchmarks for the performance of the iOS 13 and I will do it of course on the channel. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till next time, peace out.